Hi young guys, I'm back with a tutorial for this uh, fun little puzzle here, the David Gear Cube. I um, I'm going to do it on this particular version with the without the stickers on the two by two sections, unlike this version, which was the original version. Uh, please excuse my neighbour's dog. Sorry about that. Um, which have uh, been shipped with the ones that have been sent out now, these little edge stickers. And the reason for that is this version is very slightly more difficult. Um, there's an extra step you have to do at the beginning of the solve, uh, which we'll get into. Um, if you have the version with the extra little 2x2 two two stickers, this tutorial is still absolutely fine for you. Um, this could be a tricky little puzzle. The reason is, every one of the gear turns, like this, is it, it it moves every single piece on the puddle so that can make things a little bit tricky uh, to wrap your head around if every piece is moving how do you keep things that you've already solved solved while you solve the other things well obviously i'm going to show you um a word about notation um when i do a the way we're going to about solving this is solve it like a 2x2 two two originally to make sure all our coordinates are oriented correctly. Um, and then we're going to break that solve while we're matching up all our centres with the corners. And then once more we'll solve it like a 2x2 two two again at the end of the solve. So a word about the notation. Um, I'll use number number. There's only one algorithm to learn. Um, I'll use normal rotation for face turns. If I say G, and that's a geared turn, so and G is clockwise, just like any other notation, G prime is anti-clockwise. Um, when I say clockwise and anti-clockwise, I mean the um, corner pieces that you're turning. All the centres will go anti-clockwise. All the corners will go clockwise. So yeah, I think that's scrambled enough, and we'll get started with the solve. Okay then, so as I said, the first thing we need to do is solve it like a 2x2. Two two. And when I say solve like a 2x2, two two, I mean using the corner pieces as 2x2 two two corners. Um, you should be very familiar with that already before attempting a puzzle like this, so um, I do expect you to be able to do that. If you can't, I, expect it, I suggest you don't learn that elsewhere. This, um, so, solve the white face, and then you try and orient the red face, and I can see straight away that it's not going to work. This is a situation you'll never come across on a 2x2 two two or 3x3, three three, with two corners oriented, uh, a wrongly oriented face pointing left there, and one pointing straight towards you there. So I know straight away that that's wrong, but I'll show you anyway. Um, I'll do what you'd normally do. A, I was going to say, well, I'll do a soon to orient corners, you can see I've got three oriented correctly, one oriented wrong, which is just an impossible situation. So in this case, just do a G to turn on the gears and start the solve of the 2x2 two two again and see where that leaves you. Now this one looks more promising, so I should be able to get all the red Places oriented correctly as I can. Remember this on this puzzle you've got red opposite white, not yellow opposite white, which <laughs> might throw you off a bit to start with. And there you can see I've got all the corners solved. If uh, at that point you hadn't had the, the corners solved, then all you would have had to do is do one more G turn, and that would have guaranteed that that would have been the right position. Um, there's only three possible orientations for the corners, obviously. Now, if you've got this version, um, it's much easier to do that step. All you've got to do is just rotate the corners so that they match up with the colours of the, um, the small stickers on the outside, and that's basically the entire process of that step I've just completed. So, next, we have to go about matching up the centres with the corners. Now, it's not as difficult as you might imagine, in fact it's quite straightforward once once you've learned the algorithm that I'm going to show you. The algorithm I'm going to show you swaps the centres on the 
two centers on the right right face which is the one at the upper rear and the one at the front the, the lower front of the right face and on the left face it swaps the one at the lower rear and the center on the upper front so let me just say that again on the right face it swaps the one at the up rear with the low front two centers so that green center and that white center will swap places on the left face it swaps the lower rear with the upper rear so those two swap places um, it might be a good idea to begin with to write this down so you don't get lost about which ones are going to swap but once again up rear lower front on the right face lower rear upper front on the left face that everything else will remain where it is so all you're going to do is set up situations where like I've, I've already done one here where on the right face this green center will come into position on this um, with this green corner here when I do the algorithm whereas on the left face I actually want to be careful because I've got two in position at the moment that would actually swap and would and they've accidentally solved so I want to just move those out of the way if I just put them on the two corners that don't swap on the left face remember it's these two that swap then these will remain intact when I perform the algorithm so all he's going to do this first time is put this green center match it up with this green corner so let's do the algorithm one time to show you it's F G which remember is a clockwise gear turn F prime G prime 2R G F G prime F prime 2R and you can see that that green center has gone from the top right to the bottom right sorry <laughs> the top rear to the bottom front of the um, right face and matched up with that green corner there was already one green center and corner matched up on the right face that stayed intact and if you remember the two that are moved out of the way on the left face they have stayed intact um, you probably won't try intention but these two have actually swapped places so basically we just keep setting up situations like this on the I do it on the right face I find that easier you can do it on the left face if you prefer um, so what else can we set up I can see I've got um, two white centers there so let's find a white corner that I can put in and do a swap with so one there and there so that white corner will swap with that red sorry that white center will swap with that white center red center this time to match the white up with this white corner on the left face I've got nothing matched in the two positions that I'm swapping so that's absolutely fine you can spend a bit more time setting up situations where swaps are more efficient in this but I don't really bother it's, it's, I find it a bit easier just to do it one at a time and if you see any easy situations then pop them in when you see them but otherwise I just do them one at a time so one more time the algorithm is F G F prime G prime 2R G F G prime F prime now you should actually do a 2R at the end of that to put things exactly back where they began but the thing is they um, that we're not actually solving the outer corners or anything and without that 2R the centre is still matched up with the corner so I don't usually bother to be honest so let's see what we've got next I can see oh, a nice situation actually where I've got a red, yellow corner and a red centre and I've got a red corner and a yellow centre there so if I match those up that will solve two different ones at the same time let's look at my left face I can see we've got a pair in the bottom left corner the lower rear corner of the left face which will get swapped and one in the up rear so let's just rotate that so I've got two unsold ones in those positions that swap places remember it's lower rear upper front on the left face upper rear lower front on the right face so one more time F G F prime G prime 2R G F G prime F prime and once again you can see I've matched up both of those corners the red and yellow there so what we got next um, okay I've got 
a white centre here and go with that white corner on my right face. So that centre and that centre will swap. So I'll look at my left. Nothing solved, so we can leave that as it is and just carry on like this. F G F prime G prime two R G F G prime F prime and I've got that white matched up. So I've got let's say I've got a red and yellow and I've got a yellow centre there, so let's just twist that around and we'll put that yellow centre with that. I'll look at our R face. Right, so I need to be a bit careful here because I've got actually so I'm an L face, sorry, not my R face. I've got three centres matched up here, so what I need to do is remove some of those without um, disturbing what I've got on my right face over here. So what I will do is I will do a, a twist on this to get an unsolved centre on this which is going to be my L face. So I'll just do R I D I R D R prime D prime R prime D. That puts that there. But I need to finish that process off um, to do you know if you do this you have to do it six times to return to the start set. So just doing U prime and do it on this next corner. R I D I R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D and turn that back and let's see now uh, which one was my right face I've forgotten <laughs> oh yes that's my right face I've got the yellow that's going to swap um, I've now only got one solved centre on this left face so I can safely use it but the one solved one is in the lower left at the moment it's, sorry lower rear at the, on the left face so let's just turn that up to the upper rear um, I've got my two centres in the right position on the right face that are going to swap, so I'll do the algorithm again. Uh, uh, F, G, F prime, G prime, 2R, G, F, G prime, F prime, and that yellow centre is matched up. So let's see where we're going next. I can see that I've got um, an orange centre and an orange corner, so let's just swap that orange centre, all I'm going to do is swap this corner to here using the regular way I do it on a 2x2 two two. so it's now opposite the orange corner on the right face, put them in the right position not the upper rear lower front so I'll look at the left face, two unsolved pieces in the positions that swap so that's fine, so do the, oops, sorry about that do the algorithm again F G, F prime, G prime, 2R, G, F, G prime, F prime. So that's, that's the orange centre matched up with its corners. You can see things are starting to come a little bit together in here. So we just can continue this process until everything's matched up basically. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got another nice situation here. Well, I've got a red and white center and a red and white corner opposite each other so I'll match two corners up so I'll look at my left face uh, and once again I've got three solved corners on there so we need to rotate things around a bit um, okay what I will do I'll put that on the upside and then I can rotate these two around so alright yeah, R I D I R D. So I've got one unsolved. I'm just doing U turn. R I D I R D. 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 Turn that back. And now I've got three unsolved on that face. That's fine. My right face is still this one. The red and white. Opposite the red and white. Um, unsolved pieces in lower left and upper front. Uh, it's lower rear and upper front. So that's fine. Do the algorithm. with them. F G F prime G prime two R G F G prime F prime. And see, I've got the red and whites now solved. Um, please excuse the way this turns sometimes on the gear moves. This particular version arrived broken, so I had to get the replacement, which is why I've got to. Um, 
Uh, I've got a super glue disc back together and it, it works as you can see which is a bit catchy on the gear turn sometimes. Okay so I've had a serendipitous um, result here as well because I've got red and orange opposite red and orange so I can do two more that will solve two more corners and you can see I've got two unsolved in the position that needs to be swapped on the left hand side that's fine so F G F prime G prime to R G F G prime F prime so they're sold what else have we got um, Let's see. Right. See, so you've got a yellow. And you don't have to keep your faces the same at all times or anything. As soon as you see a pair, put them on any face you wish, and then have a look at your left face. See how it's doing. So, okay. So what? Now I'm reaching stages where lots of things are sold. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Um, so this is my right face. I can, I'm working on this. So I, can, I can actually still sort this out, I can rotate this corner to put that unsold slice piece there and that'll be opposite that one so that'll be fine so R prime D prime R D 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 do a U-turn to do the last R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D because you have to do that six times those two are still opposite on the right face, put them in the right positions that will swap. Rotate the left face of the unsold ones of the positions that will swap and do the algorithm. So F G F prime G prime to R G F G prime F prime. So that solved those. Um, we're, we're starting to get close to finishing here, so let's see what we've got left. Uh, I've got a blue scent here that can go with this blue corner, so let's pair those up, see what we've got on my left face. Okay, I can rotate this green and red combination up to here, which will opposite the blue and white, so that'll be fine. We need two unsold pieces in opposite corners, remember. R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. Rotate the U face, R prime, D prime. D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and we should then find that, ah, that was there. <laughs> I couldn't find my R face, so it's this one here, and I've messed that up a bit, but what I've actually done by accident, this, this is a situation you're going to have to start doing anyway, you put the same colour opposite each other on the place, positions that are going to swap, so I've got a blue a sold pair there and a blue sold pair there, so when those two swap, the blue centers are still going to be matched up with blue corners because um, you're going to find less and less um, unsolved corners available to you as, obviously as the solve goes on through. so this is what you start doing to um, keep things paired up so I've got my blue center opposite the blue corner so the algorithm one more time so F G F prime G prime to R G F G prime F prime. So what we've got left, I can see I need a green centre here, and I've got one here. So just put that in position and see what my left face looks like. Right, so this is the situation. What I will do, I will rotate the green onto this face. So R, yeah, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and do a rotation here. So I've still got my green centre opposite the green corner and I've now got two solved greens opposite each other on the left face. So F G F prime G prime to R G F G prime F prime. So what are we getting left here? We've got a red white and the white orange so they the white centre can go up to the white corner on my uh, on my L face here you can see that I've got um, the red opposite the blue corner 
with two red centers one is solved but this will actually remain the same because this red center will come to here keeping this one solved and this will still be a blue and red combination when we finish the sequence so, so that works fine and this white center will swap, match up with this white corner here so that's fine so one more time f g f prime g prime to r g f g prime f prime so let's see what we've got left i've got the red center over there that can match up with this uh Done that badly. <laughs> Red corner here on the right. What I've got on my left. Right, I need to swap something. I can. Right, I'll rotate this green here. Yep. On to opposite this green. I right, find D prime R D. I find D prime R D. I find D prime R D. I find D prime R D. And one more rotation. I find D prime R D. I find D prime R D. I've got two green or oh, white actually, it doesn't matter which because I've got two pairs opposite each other. Put the red centre and the red corner in the right position and um, one more time. F G F prime G prime to R G F G prime F prime. So that's matched up and I suspect we're on the final pair. So yeah, I've got the blue and orange and blue and orange there. So I'll look at my left face. I can rotate this white face onto the top, onto the left face to match the other one. I D I R D. I'll find D point R D. I'll find D point R D. One more rotation to do. So I've got the two whites opposite each other in the position this works, and I've got the two orange and blue opposite each other there. So one more time, one final time, F, G, F prime, G prime, to R, G, F, G prime, F prime, and looking around the puzzle you should find now that every centre is all matched up with a corner, which it is, and because with the algorithm we do, we were turning the corners to the position where they started, we know that all the before the algorithm was done, we know that all the corners are oriented correctly um, with that first step that we did to to check that they were oriented correctly at the very start of the solve. So now we just solve it like a 2x2. Two two. Again, I'm not going to go into great detail here. And you should find that you can now solve the puzzle without any problems. Just orient the last layer. Ah, no permutation. Oh no. Permutation of the final two corners. And there you go. So that's the puzzle solved. Now you may find there are situations where um, you're setting up matching your gears that the um, I didn't actually have to do it on mine, but you might have to swap corner positions. So just do a put the um, right face on in the bottom for a second where you need to do that and just use your normal algorithm for final layer permutations on a 2x2 two two if you need to swap to get two pieces opposite each other on the left face and then put your right face where it belongs again um, I didn't actually have to do that in this solve um, but you may come across situations like that but basically it's just a matter of positioning the pieces where you can make these swaps without destroying things you've already solved and you should be okay, you should get to a point where the puzzle is solved, as I showed you. Alright then guys, I hope this video was helpful to you, um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care now, bye.